I know there's some proposals to cut uh, rangers, park managers, and graffiti crews. My wife and I managed a complex for the community I've been managing it for eight years. And we recently lost a park that we lived next door to for about three years with the crime, graffiti, crime tents, all the above, you name it, was happening. We recently reopened the park, thank God it's peaceful, it's, uh, our senior citizens are using it, families, there's soccer going on, soccer clubs are playing there. My concern is if we start cutting park rangers, park maintenance, and we can cruise, are we gonna lose our parks again? Are they gonna be ready for the public to, to use? Are they gonna be safe and clean? Or are we gonna open a liability issue there with people going there and not being safe? Yeah, I mean, I, I, my concerns would be the same concerns that you have. I, I live in the city and I use the parks and um, I'd be concerned about seeing the feet and the safety issues. I'd have the same concerns um, that you'd have. And, None of these cuts are easy. I'm not trying to say that any of these cuts are easy. It's, you can't get to $20 million on top of $26 million that's already been cut in, in the previous fiscal year without getting some, some service impacts. We're not trying to hide um, from what those service impacts might be. We don't know all of them. We'll have to kind of take a wait and see to see if some of the things you just described actually happen. Um, but it is something you know that needs to be you know concerned about. This is a vital function that we need, and I want to thank both the city staff and everybody's been helpful, PDE and you name it. Everybody helped recover that part back. We were fine and everything going on every single day. So. Are there any more questions? Yes, ma'am. Uh, six or eight months ago, there was another budget workshop where there was a proposal to look at the fire department overtime. Yes. And the use of underutilized fire stations, those were, I think there was one that was getting only one or two of the free calls a day after. Is that something that's being looked at again? That is uh, back on the table. When I talked earlier about the cross staffing of the urban search and rescue vehicle with uh, truck 57, the ladder truck on the east side of the city, is exactly what that proposal is once again to look into. Do you know what the average overtime is per firefighter right now? Um, well, it was just in the Union Tribune, and I provided those numbers for them, but I think it was in the neighborhood of uh, $15,000, somewhere in there. It's a, it's a fairly large amount, which is driven by uh, the city's constant minimum staffing model, which basically dictates that all fire engines need to go out with three people on them, all fire trucks need to go out with four people on them. So if any one of those individuals gets sick, takes vacation leave, or whatever, those slots have to, by contract, be backfilled on an overtime basis. The alternative would be to have supplemental staffing and you have staff specifically on board to backfill those positions in, instead of overtime. Um, so it is a lot of overtime, so I want to be clear that that's, that's what it's driven by, is the constant minimum staffing formula. Yeah. Well, I don't see any other questions, so thank you for coming. And, uh, <laughs>